a lot of the comedy everyone's used to, they improvise like crazy. I mean, look at Judd Apatow's films. There's so much improvisation. I've never been in one, Judd. I know he did a lot of weird films and stuff earlier in his career. A lot of the comedy on TV, the kind of Bob Hope stuff, made me feel kind of gross. And I want to be sure at all times to do the right thing. <laughs> That's the right thing. <laughs> to that older generation, comedy was a palliative. You know, it was meant to make life okay and you can laugh and we'll laugh. We'll all be nice people. They've been doing comedy at college on the radio and some live shows. And I thought, you know, maybe I could do this for a living. And the only place I knew where people were doing it was Second City. And I thought I would go just see what happens there under the guise of doing a news report for my college radio station. I called and got an interview with Joyce Sloan, the den mother of Second City. She told me a lot of sort of magical legend stories about the actors who'd been on the stage there. John Belushi, he came to our door and he knocked and he said, I want to get on that stage. And we looked at him and we said, you get up there, mister. I think Joyce wanted to tell me the legend, you know. But I think what she didn't realize was that what I wanted to hear was, you know, they sucked when we first saw them. They were terrible. And then they worked really, really hard for a long time and they slowly got better. <laughs> you know, that's what I wanted to hear. And I walked out thinking, I can't do this because I'm just not that great. I walked down the street to Barbara's bookstore and this guy walks in and he's talking to the girl at the um, desk and she's calling him Dell. I didn't know what Del Close looked like, but I'd seen his name in the program of Second City. I walk over, I go, are you Del Close? And he goes, yeah. I go, well, I just interviewed Joyce Sloan and I'm here. Can I interview you about Second City and stuff? And he goes, that's great. I'd love to. And he explained that he had just quit Second City the day before. And he had just quit cocaine, I think a few weeks before. And he's changing his life now and he would love to talk about that. One, two, test, test. Okay, uh, Bob Odenkirk here. Got some really important questions here. So we walked over to his little apartment across from Second City, and at the time, it had a window that was busted out. What, what's going on up there, and what happened? I was a jealous husband broke in my uh, window last year, January 1st. <laughs> okay. And this is February in Chicago, so the fucking freezing, cold wind is blowing in that little, that window the whole time we're sitting there. Are you got any dope? Oh, fuck. Oh, well, bleep that out. <laughs> he had stopped hard drugs. He'd stopped coke and heroin. He went to this coven, this witch gathering, because he was a witch, you know, and he did a ceremony to get rid of his cocaine addiction, which he said worked. I mean, I don't know that stuff. I'm a kid from Naperville. <laughs> but if he says he quit coke and he did it by going to a witch ceremony, then I believe him. I'm kind of tired of giving drugs. Oh, no, I smoke marijuana. And I take maybe hallucinogens maybe three or four times a year, but those are health drugs. The crazy thing is that I walked out of Dell's place so excited about <laughs> doing comedy and being in show business. <laughs> and it was not through any overt effort, though. I promise you, he didn't sit around and go, you should do this. I mean, he was just talking about his life. Talking about all these things he was dealing with personally and professionally, and it made it seem real, it made it seem possible, and it made it seem amazing. But also, I wouldn't put it past myself for thinking, if he can do all that he did, and still have his brain intact. Imagine what I could do if I'm not doing cocaine and heroin. You know, I might even have some money left over to fix the window. Well, is that enough for you? No, 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 I want to ask you. <laughs> okay.